Welcome back. Today we want to talk about Trevor Burger knives. Now, I'm not going to get into all of the specific details of these two models. This is the uh, L-E-X-K CFL, and this is the E-X-K Plus. And we'll talk a little bit about the differences and whatnot, but I just wanted to kind of talk about custom knife makers, specifically Trevor Burger, and the variety and the differences that they have. So Trevor Burger is a South African knife maker. You know my, uh, my affection for South African makers. The fit and finish is exceptional. The price is awesome. The materials are great. You're getting a huge bang for your buck when you get a South African made knife. And this is no different. Trevor Burger runs from just Googling around earlier today, anywhere from like $800 up to like $2,000. And that depends on the model, the materials. I'm sure you could commission him to build you something that's way crazy and spend more. Much like VC Edge. Standard build from VC Edge on an interface is about $950 when I was buying this particular one. I worked with Jason, the owner and designer and maker, and we came up with something with a Dama steel blade, two different types of carbon fiber, Timascus, a little bit of extra love, crown spine, and just, you know, some little extra doodads. And this one was north of 3000. So just because you might be able to buy this particular one in this particular flavor for let's say $900, you could probably make this same model for $3,000 if you wanted different materials. Working with custom makers, you have that ability. Jason loved working with me on this one. And I bought a standard one too. It's in the drawer behind me. So I, he really enjoyed that. We had a great time coming up with materials, sending me pictures and, and some hints of what it was going to be and things like that. Working with custom makers, you get to do that. Speaking of another custom maker, Red Horse Knife Works. This is the production version. And here is one of the custom versions, his first custom version. And I am working with Ed Kim right now on another Hellraiser build that will be, again, with exotic materials and a total custom because that's what you get working with custom makers. So back to Trevor Berger from South Africa. He's a second generation knife maker slash tool maker. Um, a lot of these South Africans uh, will also make the tools that they need to make the knives. Very much like Phil Harvey over in the UK. He makes a ton of tools, jigs, and equipment that he needs to actually make the knife. So, custom makers oftentimes, most of the time, will have multiple models. With Red Horse Knife Works, everybody knows of the Hellraiser. There's a War Pig, there's a Chopper, there's a couple of other models as well. They're just not as as, as uh, popular, if you will. But he makes a variety of different models and he's now, Ed Kim is now doing kitchen knives, chef knives. I will have one of those on the channel at some point. Trust me, I'll probably own two. One for me and one for my son, who my son is actually a chef. So I really want to get him a really nice custom chef knife. But my point is there's multiple models. Trevor Berger has other models as well. There's an Atlas. There's a, a Dalor, I think is how you pronounce it. There's, he's got several other models. And you can see here, we've got a frame lock and a liner lock. They're both front flippers, these particular ones. But he he's mostly known for and mostly makes front flippers. He has made a few flipper knives, just standard flippers, both in a frame lock and a liner lock. 
carbon fiber and this, I believe it's, I, I'm not even sure what material this is, so I'm not even going to guess. There is no seam. You cannot feel the difference. A little bit different in the texture, but that's what you get from custom makers. There is no seam back here to speak of between the carbon fiber, the titanium liners, the carbon fiber bag spacer, and so on. That's why you're paying $800 to a couple of thousand dollars to get this type of action, this type of fit and finish. Even the frame lock with just its carbon fiber scale here, it's a t probably fat carbon um, arctic something probably, um, with a titanium backspacer, titanium lock bar, very similar on the clips, but that's about where it ends. Even the blades are different shapes and different styles. And I love that about custom makers. You really get a variety of knife. I love that about it. So you can pick and choose as the client, if you will, what you want in a knife. The, these each have very distinctive sounds. More of a thunk here and more of a ting on this guy. This one really reminds me of a Holt, um, not the Spectre, but the, um, is it the Morpheus? Morph? Morpheus? Eh, you know what I'm talking about. That blade shape kind of reminds me of that. I love these both. Now these are the large version, the small version of a very similar knife, frame lock versus liner lock. One is a little thinner. This one is a little thinner and longer. This guy's a little shorter and stockier. And you can order them in all those varieties. So if you wanted a smaller version of this that's a little thicker, you could do that. If you wanted a bigger version of this that's a little skinnier, you could do that as well. Again, that speaks to custom knife makers and their ability to make what you want. If you want Damasteel, Damascus, Timascus, Mokume, whatever you're going to want, and if they can get the material, they'll build it for you. That's why I love working with custom knife makers. It's actually hard for me. These two are Alex from the Watch and Cut channel my co-host on the EDC hour. These are both his knives. Um, he's great at picking material. He actually buys material at shows and sends them to makers. And then the maker makes the knife out of the material that Alex sent them. I've never done that. I'm having a hard enough time working with Ed and picking materials for my custom Hellraiser. I bought all of these custom Hellraisers already made. So I didn't get a choice on what they looked like or how they acted or anything. I just bought them because I loved them. This was really the first knife I had any input on in its build. And really, I got to give all the credit to Jason. I gave him a very loosey-goosey stuff, and he came up with something fantastic. But you can buy your own material at shows, talk to the maker. The maker will say, hey, I need... Uh, 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 the raw materials at least, you know, eight inches long by two inches wide by a quarter inch thick to be able to make you the whatever, right? There's going to be some parameters and there may be some materials that a maker is going to say, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I've tried to work with that material before, but it doesn't work on my machines. I'm not capable of using it. Um, and you may have to adjust and pivot, which is fine. So, uh, I will put links down to Trevor Berger's Instagram and some links down below for him. Also a link to Alex's channel and the EDC hour. So please go check us all out on the links. That'd be great. And let me know what you think about this. It's a little bit different style, a little bit different. It wasn't really a review of these knives. It was more just on Trevor Berger a bit and the custom knife world, if you will. Um, so let me know what you thought. I'd appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.